Hello and welcome to Native English with Alex. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way of improving your IELTS grade simply by replacing this word with one of these. Now, first of all, there's nothing wrong with the word interesting. It's actually a very functional and useful word. However, it is a basic word. It's a band four word. So you're not going to impress any examiners with this kind of vocabulary. So all we need to do is practice replacing it at every opportunity with a more advanced, more impressive alternative. That way you will enrich your vocabulary, thus leading to a higher grade overall. So let's look at a couple of examples. So imagine you're faced with this kind of question and you produce a sentence like, I went to a museum and I came across an interesting artifact. Now this is actually quite a good sentence. Came across as a nice phrasal verb. Artifact is pretty advanced too. However, how can we boost the vocabulary in this sentence? We're going to replace that word interesting with a better alternative, a more advanced alternative. Do you have any ideas what we could use here? So we've got interesting artifact. What could we say instead? We could say intriguing artifact. Don't worry if you don't know this word, we will get to that later. So I went to the museum yesterday and I came across an intriguing artifact. That is now a very advanced sentence and the examiner is going to take note. They're going to notice that word and think, okay, that's, that's a decent word. And if you practice replacing that word interesting every time, eventually, this will just come naturally. You won't have to think about it. So let's look at another example. Imagine you have to talk about a book, a very typical IELTS topic, describe a book you recently read or talk about your favorite novel or something like this. Um, let's say you come out with, I recently read a very interesting book about aliens. So yeah, I recently read a very interesting book about aliens. I mean, this is, this is a pretty standard sentence. There's nothing impressive. I mean, not every sentence will be impressive, but we can make it impressive simply by replacing that word interesting with an alternative. Any ideas what we could use? Instead of interesting book, we could say a gripping book, something that grips you, that takes your attention. So I recently read a gripping book about aliens is way more impressive than it was before. So the examiner is going to take note of that. They're going to hear that word and think, okay, that's nice. That's worth some points. So it's as simple as that, just practicing upgrading that common word. Okay, so let's get straight into the vocabulary and learn those five words so you can start using them. So our first word is gripping, gripping, gripping. Like the interesting book about aliens, the gripping book about aliens. This word is very good for talking about movies, books, sporting events, and anything else that keeps your attention because it's so interesting. So let's have a look at some examples and how to use it. The movie was gripping. I was gripped by the movie. The author's latest novel was truly gripping. I was absolutely gripped by the storyline. The actor put in an absolutely gripping performance. The whole theatre was gripped by his performance. And of course, we could use it in a negative sentence. You could say if something wasn't gripping, like it was boring, basically. You could say yeah, the movie wasn't exactly gripping, but it was okay. Or you could say, I wasn't exactly gripped by the game. So word number two is compelling, compelling, compelling. The book was compelling. Again, this works really well with books, movies and sporting events or anything that holds your attention because it's exciting and interesting. So let's look at a few examples. Her performance on stage was absolutely compelling. The audience was compelled by her performance. The book was such a compelling read, I couldn't put it down. I was compelled by the plot twists. The movie wasn't as compelling as the book, 
but it was okay. It was watchable. It was hardly a compelling play, but I've seen worse. Okay, the third word. This is the one I used at the beginning when I talked about the museum. That is intriguing. 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 The artifact was intriguing. This word means interesting in an unusual or mysterious way. So something that makes you think. Hmm, intriguing. This works very well for stories, facts, objects, conversations, questions. And let's have a look at some examples of how we could use it. I've got an intriguing fact for you now, actually. Lemons float, but limes actually sink. That's quite intriguing, I think, because it's unusual and mysterious. Why does the lime sink and the lemon float? Maybe you want to go and Google it and find out, because it's quite intriguing, see? So that's, it's sort of unusual. That's the feeling of this word. That's why I said an intriguing artifact. It makes you think, hmm, what's this all about? So let's have a look at some examples of using intriguing. So I could say, I watched an intriguing documentary last night about bees. I was absolutely intrigued throughout the documentary. The teacher was intrigued by his students' questions. I came across a really intriguing artifact in the museum. I was so intrigued about the story behind it. I found her background very intriguing and I wanted to know more about her. It was such an intriguing painting. I really wanted to find out what was going through the mind of the artist. Can you think of an intriguing story you heard or maybe an intriguing artifact you saw in a museum? Have a think about it and maybe you can practice making some sentences with this word. Our next word, word number four. Word number four is captivating. 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 His eyes were captivating. Her smile was captivating. Captivating. This word works really well for people, stories, maybe even a sporting event, or anything which takes your attention, takes your full attention, because it's attractive and interesting. So let's look at some example sentences. We could say that she was such a captivating speaker that the audience hung on her every word. Or the audience was captivated by the way she spoke. We could also say it was such a captivating story. I was absolutely captivated by this book. You couldn't take your eyes off the action. The game was thoroughly captivating. She was hardly the most captivating speaker. Some people fell asleep in the audience. And our final word, last but not least, is stimulating. 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 I chose this word because it works really well when talking about jobs, tasks, maybe even a conversation. Um, something can be mentally stimulating. For example, a puzzle. If it's a challenging puzzle, you could say it's very stimulating. If it was an easy puzzle, it's not very stimulating. It's too easy, right? So a puzzle can be mentally stimulating. A conversation can be very stimulating. If someone's asking you questions that making you think, you could say the very mentally stimulating conversation. So let's have a look at a few example sentences. You could say, my job is really stimulating. I'm lucky enough to have a stimulating job. I really need a more stimulating job. I'm far from stimulated by my job. I had a really stimulating conversation last night with my friend about how to make money in the stock market. Working every day with smart people is really stimulating. Doing the ironing isn't exactly the most stimulating of tasks, but somebody's got to do it, right? What's the most stimulating job you can think of and why is it stimulating? Okay, so that wraps up the video. There are five absolutely golden words there for you that I highly recommend you get into your active vocabulary as quickly as possible. How you do that? There are two really nice ways of doing that. Firstly, 
If you are lucky enough to be able to speak English with a partner or have a teacher, every time you come across an opportunity to use one of them, use it. Just don't use the word interesting. Just use one of these words if it, if it works, okay? That way, eventually, you will kind of train yourself to be using the more advanced version. The other option, you could do this on your own, is just write some sentences. So, for example, you go through today's video, pick a word, let's say gripping, and write five sentences with the word gripping. If you make mistakes, it doesn't matter because the purpose is to remember the word. Write sentences. What's the most gripping movie you've ever seen? The most gripping movie I've ever seen was such and such. Or what makes a gripping movie? I think gripping movies are made by amazing special effects, for example. Yes, there are hundreds of other synonyms for interesting. However, one of the keys to learning vocabulary is taking a small group of words and mastering them. Practicing with those words until they are ingrained in your mind and you use them naturally. In my next video, I will be giving you five adjectives to make the word boring more impressive. See you next time.